Hey everyone, what is going on? Today we are going to create a simple landscape blend material. Let's jump right into the preview. Here you can see a simple landscape with the material applied. It allows us to paint using various layers. And what's even better is that you can edit them right here in the editor. Also there are various adjustments inside this material function. We can edit the rotation, detailing, and a lot of other stuff here. I created a third person template project and I'm inside the Unreal Engine 5.3. The first thing we want to do is to create a new level. So click on File, New Level and pick the basic one. Click on the Selection Mode and pick the Landscape Mode. Make sure that the Z location is set to 0. Then click on Create. Finally, let's save this map into a new landscape folder called Landscape. Go back into the selection mode and go to the landscape folder. Here we want to create a material. I call it M underscore landscape. Click on add and then select Quixel content. Inside the bridge, search for grass and pick the one you like. And now you can repeat the process again and again. I will add here some sand material, rock material and some leaves material. You can add whatever you like. After you've finished downloading all your textures, go to the folder where they located at. Click on the material and search for the parent. The parent material has all the functions we need. so. Click on the search button and open this one up. As you can see here, we have already a function for the tiling and for the map adjustments, and we are going to use them. One thing I want to mention here is that Quixel textures sometimes have a combined texture, meaning here we have ambient occlusion inside the red channel and roughness inside the blue channel. Keep that in mind when you use your own textures. Now select everything, copy it and go back to your content folder. Inside here, create a new material function. Give it the same name as the texture you copy from. So in my case, mf underscore mossy. Paste the code in here and connect to the output. Then click on the first texture and change it to the texture you like to have here. Do the same for the ARD and the normal texture. Hit apply and save. Go back to the content folder and right click on the material function. From that we want to create the function instance. Give it the same name instead of MF, pick MFI. And inside here, all the magic happens. You can click, for example, on the tiling. And for this one, the R channel is the X tiling and the G channel is the Y tiling. If you want to know how this works, go to the material function and double click on the tiling. Same goes for the adjustments. Double click on it and you can see how the whole logic from this works. Now let's change the metallic look of it. Click on the color and play with those values around. After you're finished, don't forget to hit apply and save. Back in our content browser, open the landscape material. Click on M underscore landscape and click on use material attributes so that everything will be collapsed into one node. Put your material function inside here, right click somewhere and search for landscape layer blend. Add as many layers as you need, open the first one up and give it a name. Select one as the preview weight. Connect everything, hit apply and save. Now let's add the material to the world. Click on the landscape and under landscape material drag and drop the newly created material into it. 
To get rid of the black, go back to the landscape mode, click on paint and down here on the layer click on the add button and select weight blended layer. Save and wait a second for the level to load. And that's basically everything we have to do here. You can now open the material function instance and edit your material on the fly. When you hit apply, it will automatically change your layer in the world. Before we continue, I want to say that as of Unreal Engine 5.3, the previews of the materials are not working correctly. They show sometimes a black sphere and sometimes not. For me, a restart fixes this. Secondly, I want to clarify why we are going to duplicate the material function instead of the material function instance. I came across several bugs when I just duplicated the material function instance and changed the materials inside the instance. So instead of that, we will want to duplicate our material function and create from that duplicate our material function instance. The other way may work in future versions, so keep that in mind. So all you have to do is open the duplicate and change the textures in here. Then go back to the content browser and create the instance from the material we just created. Add the instance to the main material and do that for all of your other textures. Go back to the landscape and add the weight blended layer. And as you can see here, we can now paint with our two layers. For the last two materials, it's the same process. I'm going to speed this one up. Feel free to skip this part. And that's the end for this video. As you can see, it's pretty simple and you can maximize this by adding more textures to the system. In the next video of the series, we will add functions like distance tiling, variations and auto landscapes. And here you can see, I restarted the engine and the previous are now there. And as always, have a nice day and see you in the next one.